हेलो एवरी वन आई एम संकेत सिंह एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो गाइज लास्ट क्वार्टर ड्यूरिंग द हाइक सीजन आई एक्चुअली अप्लाइड फॉर अ बंच ऑफ कंपनीज एंड वन ऑफ दोज वॉज फ्लिपकार्ट सो आई इंटरव्यूड फ्लिपकार्ट फॉर एन एस डी टू रोल फॉर द बैक एंड डेवलपर पोजिशन एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैट वॉट वॉज द ओवरऑल इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस लाइक वॉट वर द ओवरऑल सेट ऑफ राउंड वॉट कैंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन वर आस्ट इन दैट एंड टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट फ्लिपकार्ट इंटरव्यू वॉज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग इंटरव्यूज दैट आई एक्चुअली गेव सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डीले लेट्स अ स्टार्ट and let's start discussing about my interview experience at flipkart but before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to the channel do consider subscribing to the channel as we are going to put some more awesome content very frequently on this channel also if you have not yet checked out the new spring boot boot camp that we have recently launched which is a live boot camp in which we are going to talk about back end development in spring boot along with projects then do check it out i'll drop the link of the course and a coupon code using which you can get some discount in the description section so let's just start so approximately around in november end i was reached out by the recruiters of flipkart it the role was for a back end software engineer position sd2 role right they actually briefed me about the overall round process so flipkart has a very different kind of a i would say sd2 rounds so there were in total uh, i would say four rounds right the first round was a lld coding round or you can say a machine coding round the second round was a data structures round third round was a system design round and the fourth one was a hiring manager round right so let's start discussing about all of these rounds one by one and i'll also tell you what kind of questions were actually asked in all of these specific rounds so guys the first round of flipkart was machine coding round to be very honest it was one of a very different type of a i would say interview round that i recently gave for different companies in this particular round it was kind of like a group machine coding round that in uh, i would say Uh, approximately around 9:30 a.m. on the scheduled time, uh, or, I would, or I would say the scheduled date, approximately 30, 35, I would say candidates were actually called on a meet call. There was a software engineer from Flipkart who was actually briefing us about the whole round. So how the round was uh, like? They actually gave us a problem statement. I'll link the document of the problem statement in the description section. It was more or less about a hospital management app that we have to build. They briefed us about the fact that we will be having one and a half hours exactly. to code the whole application they specifically mentioned the instructions that we do not need to integrate any kind of a database or any kind of a server or i would say any framework that helps us to set up a server or anything the whole focus needs to be on making a console application and the overall judging criteria was uh, i would say including a bunch of things first thing was the fact that your application the console application that you have to build should be end to end working you should not use any third party libraries altogether and you should write a good object oriented code so whatever type of classes design patterns lld concepts you can actually integrate you have to do that in the problem statement there were a bunch of mandatory features that you have to actually develop it included a bunch of features around appointment of a doctor scheduling an appointment by a user so on and so forth and there were some additional features that are good to have but not a must have these additional features as well required a bunch of concepts regarding lld's uh, and design patterns as well right so in one and a half hour all of us were expected to code this whole application after the brief we were actually divided into separate separate interview i would say meeting calls where there was an invigilator in front of which we have to just code the project during these one and a half hours nobody was going to ask any questions and once we have completed our coding in one and a half hour post that there was expected to be a 30 to 45 minute discussion about whatever we have built why we chose a specific way to build the corresponding features how we can actually improve it so on and so forth so the overall i would say uh, emphasis of this round was to understand how clean code we can actually write what are the different object oriented programming concepts we know and how do we apply them in our application as well apart from that few of the features of the application required us to have good knowledge on design patterns so they were also judging us on the fact that do we know what are the different design patterns available and can we also integrate them inside our application and finally whether the application is up and running or not 
so this was a very interesting round i was i really enjoyed actually coding the whole application and then discussing it with the inter, i would say the engineers of flipkart because they were also asking relatively nice questions like i have seen a lot of other companies who just ask straight forward dsa questions but in this particular round of flipkart they were actually judging your engineering skills actually judging your clean code skills so this was pretty much interesting and the overall uh, review process was pretty fast as well approximately like in 6 to 7 hours on the same day i got the feedback that i have been shortlisted for the further set of rounds and those are going to be scheduled the corresponding next week as well now round 2 was a data structures and algorithmic coding round in this round they asked me actually two questions that i was expected to code on google docs one of the questions was a binary search based question so if you have practiced a bunch of questions around binary search on answer then it was a variation of that it was not a very straight forward or a very famous question like aggressive cows or painter partition but the concept of binary search on answer and minimax problems was directly being applied on that particular problem so if you have let's say solved 30 odd questions on binary search that problem should look cakewalk but if you have not done enough practice then you might have to think a lot so i actually figured out the solution to the problem and coded it in approximately 25 minutes post that they gave me one more question on graph the topic that they chose was topological sorting and it was a pretty straight forward topological sorting question the very famous core scheduling problem right so if you have done like even top 10 very frequently asked question on graph uh, on lead code then you must have solved this question as well so this was also a relatively straight forward question but again i was expected to code the whole solution as well so i took approximately uh, 10 minutes to discuss the solution approaches why i am choosing a particular way and then around 5 to 10 minutes to actually code the whole uh, i would say um solution of topological sort for solving the question of course schedule they also asked me a bunch of corner cases that i should try to check my code on although they were not expecting us to run the code but they were just expect, expecting us to dry run the code in front of them so this was pretty interesting and i would rate the overall difficulty level of this particular round as easy medium only because if you have solved uh, these kind of very famous topics and very famous questions then this should this round should not be very difficult for you Now round 3 was also uh, I would say kind of like a medium level round in this particular round I was asked high level design so in a high level design you are not expected to code anything but yes you are ex- you are expected to do the api designing database designing how exactly the services architecture is going to work in the back end how you can optimize on a particular feature so in this particular round they asked me pretty straight forward question that let's say if you want to make a catalog on a e-commerce website how you can actually make that what are the different set of apis that you should uh, i would say expose what are the database choices that you are going to make and what should be the db design how exactly the services are going to uh, i would say integrated and considering that a catalog service of e-commerce app is generally uh, heavily bombarded in case of sales for example if uh, if let's say there is a flipkart big billion day sales then a lot of people actually try to do at least window shopping on e-commerce apps, uh, websites like flipkart so this uh, service was expected to be scaled for a million users in case of very high traffic so all of this discussion actually happened but what i felt was they are very uh, they were very keen on the fact that how api designing how api routes how structure of the api i am doing they actually focused more on that particular part i actually read a bunch of articles on lead code discuss section regarding flipkart sg2 interview experiences so i was already aware what are the important things that the interviewers look for in each specific round so i was able to i believe give them a satisfying answer and uh, on the same day i got the call from the recruiter that uh, i have been short i am shortlisted for the role and the final round of hiring manager is going to be scheduled the next day now the last round was a hiring manager round uh, in this particular round they were actually judging my core value skills team ethics what kind of experience i actually uh, bring in what type of work i actually did in google and interestingly the hiring manager also asked me to explain one particular feature that i recently built in google uh, end to end what are the different type of rpcs i actually prepared how those rpcs are being integrated what are the database choices we have to take what are the some of the very uh, corner case based uh, situations that our feature was having how the rollout process was there how the user adoption we actually judged a lot of uh, questions around this particular part they asked so 20 to 25 minutes they actually spend on actually discussing the core values ethics what what are your strength what are your weakness but the remaining 40 to 45 minutes they heavily spent on the fact that how exactly one of the features i have actually built at google so this in, this discussion was also very interesting and i believe if you have 
worked in some organization then definitely you uh, work on different different features so in this kind of a case you should try to explain those features for which you are very confident that you have maybe led in your team wrote some design docs for that so i believe the overall uh, round was pretty positive and i was positive about the about the fact that uh, i most probably i will be shortlisted and on the same day uh, i got the call from the recruiter that uh, the final verdict was there i was shortlisted for a sd2 position at uh, flipkart for a back end engineering role right so i would say the overall interview process if you see like the first round which was a machine coding round i would rate that round as medium hard ds round was easy medium high level design round was medium and hiring manager round was also medium so overall i would say the interview process was kind of like medium to above medium kind of role because apart from dsa there was nothing that was very straightforward or very specific, uh, very easy uh, to actually get on so i believe uh, flipkart and the engineers of flipkart have done great job in actually uh, structuring their whole interview process according to the actual needs of a uh, i would say software engineer so kudos for that and uh, yeah if you guys uh, enjoyed the overall video and you guys got some really cool insights about the interview process at flipkart please do drop your thoughts in the comment section below and if you are preparing for any companies i would highly recommend you guys to check out the discuss section on lead code because a lot of people actually share their valuable insights around what was their what was uh, the experience overall for a particular company what kind of questions are being asked because that gives you a good idea to prepare for a particular company otherwise you'll be going blind sided and anything can be asked right so uh, let's wrap this particular video here we are going to meet soon in the next set of videos where we will uh, continue our discussion on more things around tech and hiring till then take care guys bye bye i am sanket singh signing off